This is a small extract from a longer talk that I do on project management. My name's Chris Croft. I run training courses, usually a day or two on project management. And we're just going to have a quick look at costs. How do you monitor the financial side of a project without falling into some big holes? So let's imagine that you have a plan. This is your spend rate over time. And this is your actual. Now, the accountants are probably thinking it looks fine. But is it? Well, you should always be suspicious if you're underspent because it probably means that you're behind. So how do we check progress? And the answer is have a look at a Gantt chart. And here is the Gantt chart that goes with it. And sure enough, we're behind. In fact, we're so far behind that this underspend is actually not an underspend. It's probably an overspend. We've done so little and it's cost us nearly as much as we should have spent. So it's as if we've done half the work and we've spent three quarters of the money. So we're actually overspent and late. It's a total disaster. And yet the casual observer might think it looks okay. So rule number one, always look at progress. And for that, you need a Gantt chart. Now, that's probably where you're going to end up. And we're extrapolating, of course, assuming it's going to go the same way. But if we carry on the way we're going, we're going to end up late and overspent. Now, what about this one here? This is our actual spend so far, and that's the planned finish point. So it's the finished date and the finished budget. This one looks okay. So rule number one, have a look at the Gantt chart. Now suppose the Gantt chart looks like that. That's fine. We're keeping up with the now line. Everything seems to be fine. It does look fine, but is it? What we need to do is we need to look at the spend profile, which in this case is this shape. Now where does the spend profile come from? Well, we can get it from the Gantt chart. If we know that these tasks are relatively cheap and these are the expensive ones, then we know it's going to go like that. And you can do that in Excel. If you put the costs along each task and add it up, you can get the spend profile. So let's suppose the spend profile is this shape and we've spent this much so far. Well, where are we going to end up? And it's clear that instead of having done this, we've done this. We're overspending and we're probably going to end up like this. So this one looked okay on the Gantt chart but wasn't. So the second rule is always look at your spend profile. So check the progress on the Gantt chart and check the spend profile. And to do both of those, you need a Gantt chart. So the message of this, this little talk is if you want to check on the finance of your project, always check on a Gantt chart as well as looking at the money. I hope that's been useful. This is part of a longer training session. You can check me out on my website.